Today, we are going to go to Quincy Market in Boston, Massachusetts. Quincy Market is first built in 1826, so it's been about 200 years that the market is located in this specific area. And on the right side, you can see the Faneuil Hall, but sadly, it's under the construction, but it's for the better. And on the left side, you can see Sephora, which is a cosmetic store, I'll say, but it has a lot of selections and I think this location probably has the biggest Sephora that I've ever seen. And there we go, you see Quincy Market. And I have to say that every time my friends or families visit me, I always bring them to here. There are so many just things to do or things to eat and the streets are just really beautiful. And I first got into the left side of the Quincy Market and there are a lot of bars, restaurants and clothing stores and there are just so many things to do. During the evening, the lights all get lit up and it's really beautiful. And recently, I saw one of my friends in Instagrams that she had some movie events here. So if you're planning to come to Boston and especially check out this Quincy Market, you should probably want to look up some events so that you can make the best of your time. See all the lights on the right, on the left, and in front of us. And yeah, I know it's packed with tourists. Right now, it's just not that much because it was actually during the days that I visited here. But during the weekends, there are a lot of people. So if you don't like the crowds, you may probably want to avoid this time. So I just walked into inside the Quincy Market and and there we go. You see all this beautiful architecture, the bricks and the woods and interior. It's just amazing how 200 years ago it's been built and still maintained and still attract a lot of tourists. So on the first floor, you can actually sit and enjoy your food and there is actually the second floor which I personally like the better because you can watch people and it's a little less busier. So I'm going up to the stairs to show you guys how it looks. So there we go, there are a lot of tables and chairs and during the night, it's really beautiful with those lights lit up. And on the right side, there is unique glow. So if you're missing some clothes, yep, you can probably go grab some clothes as well. Yeah, I remember I brought my sister to this place and she absolutely loved it. Even though it's just a tourist spot. I think it's really worth it visit here. So I'm going down to the first floor again to show you guys the restaurants. And New England is actually famous for its lobsters. So in Boston, lobster rolls and clam chowder is just a way to go, in my opinion. There's some candies, desserts, and there are a lot of people. It's a market, and in the market, there are a lot of people, right? 
their pizza and that right there that's a clam chowder place that I am in love um, there are actually two locations I'm actually not so sure about which one was the better because I think I only tried one location but the criteria that I used to get my clam chowder and lobster roll was that if it's a little more expensive it usually means that it's kind of better there are so much people and I wanted to see the right side of the Quincy market so I got out and there is a little gift shop people are trying on t-shirts saying Boston Celtics Harvard wow look at this isn't it beautiful so on the left side I believe that it's a bar or it's a store and people are doing ping pong and there are trucks and you can actually sit down here and if you like to take pictures it's really beautiful here and I remember my friends got a lot of pictures of them here too And if you ever get lost, don't worry, there is the information center. In Christmas Boston, I remember I got a, a very cute magnet from that place. And that thing on the right side, in the truck, I don't really know what that is, but that looks very interesting. It's actually no electricity, it's just a, a mobile. There are paintings, t-shirts, of course. Boston is actually known for sports as well. Even, even in your size, you don't have no, I don't need my size. Um, I need my so there you have it. I really hope that you guys enjoy our little tour to Quincy Market. And if you have any questions about traveling or living in Boston, please let me know. I'll reply everything that you are curious about and next video is probably related to Korea trip so stay tuned in if you want to see more videos about Korea thank you for watching and see you later